Hi well. guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we me and my cousin are on Messenger going to do a makeup tutorial. She is going to do the like out today university makeup and I'm doing I go on a na when I go out on a night out which basically I don't really wear much but let's see how this hands because I could have bright pink eyeshadow going up here round with glitter underneath, let's see how it goes. So first off I'm going to use some micellar water to cleanse the skin. I'm going to use Baby White. Cheap enough, get them from Powerland for a quid. Yeah, you can probably pick this up from Powerland as well. I'm going to use one of these pads, put some water on there. Alcohol free, so it's in base. And cleanse that off there, making sure that all the dry skin or dirt that you've got on your face as well. Or leftover makeup. Yep. Yeah. Which mine will mine consist of it. leftover makeup because we don't want any for you. My leftover makeup. So I'm just making sure that I get everything off. Like dry skin or stuff like that. So my face is clear, which I haven't brought anything on. So once you've done that, I'm going to start by using some concealer. Sometimes you get really wet baby wipes, so if you don't like the feel of the wetness, just dry it with a towel. So first off, I'm going to start with some moisturiser. I do moisturise it and I do, I do use Nivea Cream Original, and it comes like this. Start my makeup off. See, I probably should use it, but I don't, so I'll wait for her to finish. <laughs> you can start, you start. So I'm going to use Essence uh, Foundation, and you can literally get it from Wilco's. This is the matte sand, because I, as you can tell, I am very pale. So, and then just get one of your foundation sponges. You can get a big one. Or you can have these little ones, whatever suits your foot. <laughs> whatever suits your foot? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you feeling <laughs> away? Oh, I can't even find my mirror now, where's so my mirror gone? Once you've done that, keep blending it in the face, making sure that you get all the face that you're going to cover with makeup. Oh, that in like a minute. When it just reduces spots, I think, so I just tend to use it like this. I go from the outside of my face all into my cheek on all around here. Look at your little mirror. <laughs> I know it's only ages to find it. <laughs> right, and now I'll start off with the concealer. It's Rimmel Last in London and it comes in a package like this. Like that. And then I also use the Maybelline Burt Brightening Cream Concealer. It's a stick. That one goes under the eyes, and this gold one goes around the face. So I'm going to start off with the one around the face first. And it comes like this. You put your concealer on first. I put it on after. Oh, I'll put it on after as well. so that it just takes all the bags away from got bags in the dark circles. Which will do. Yep, I do anyway. Then I get the blue with Bren blue uh, beauty uh, blender, which is cool drink. And I do a um thing in there. Highly recommend this one so that you just smooth it and stuff. And just making sure double so, I don't know whether you can see, let it close a bit. That's my foundation put on. I am going to rub it with a tissue because I think this is a bit too much. So, I'm going to get my tissue and just rub it, going around in circles.
by why I do write most of it off. Huh? Now that song I need to get the foundation that I'm going to be using. It's called Gosh and it's Wear Foundation. It's like that one. So I'll get that on my hand. It's so dirty. Dirty foundation line, a little bit more. Let me get my blue blender and then I dab it into my skin like that. I'm making sure I fall. And now I'll put my concealer on. Which I've only got really. Uh, well, I got this one from Powerland called Over in Middlesbrough. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows, lives in Middlesbrough. Try and get makeup, fix shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I only really put it under my eyes anyway, so. That's what we're going to do, put it under my eyes. Any spot that you can see, just on. Just go over, just make sure that everything's blended in. And then there we have it, we have foundation. Some of my spotty spots. Then I grab the same liquid foundation. Come up. A little darker, Angie. And then put that. And then I rub my concealer in. Okay, like that. So it... This is just to make it me a bit dark because I am pale, so I don't want to be darker. And then I just dab that into the cheekbones like that. I'm making sure that it's all blended in. I can't really tell that I've got it on because I've blended it all in. So now I move on to the eyeliner, which I have a pink one, and I can't remember where I got this one. Like then I've got all that on now. Clean them because they even take my hand. Right now, we need the concealer again. Yeah. We need the pencil one. This is going to add to the Maybelline. Uh, and then rub it under my eyelid again, like that. I'm going to blend it in with the beauty blender. This time, just dabbing. You want your eyeliner to be literally in your eye, <laughs> not in your white part, just on your eyelid. I can't put eyeliner on me today. Eyeliner does funny things to my eyes. <laughs> That's why I clean mine before I use it. It makes uh, it makes me fall asleep. <laughs> right. So I'll get my eyebrow pen song. Eyebrow pen brush, sorry. So that's on. Ish. So then so the eyebrow well. glue. Comes in clear. See, my eyebrows, I like how they look, so I don't use anything on my eyebrows because the foundation that I use makes my eyebrows stand out a bit more because it goes a bit darker. Eyeshadow. Now, I use, I want some colour depending on my outfit that day. I do have this palette, which I can't actually remember where I got it from. But it's called Max, so I must have got it from Max. Anyway. And it's got white, grey, green, blue, purple, pink, burgundy colour, which I really like. Put your blacks and your greys in there as well. Um, time to go to this one. The uh, Mega Nudes. Where did I get this one from? It's there. No, it doesn't say. So I can't actually tell you where I got it from. I don't know. <laughs> So, I think we're going to go with brown, brown here, 
quite nice. Uh, at first, I like to go and put a bit of this yeah. colour to match. Maybe not that far. This colour, just to match my foundation. And I got under my eyes on the light. Well, then, they give me brow, and it looks a bit like a mascara. But then, brush like that, and then gently rub. Slide that into my eye. So like and then stroke the top bit. And then use my dark brown. And then get some more on my brush. And start at this side, making sure I'm just going to use my mirror guy to put a brown on my eyeshadow, on my face. Just blending them in like that. Just blending them in like that. Oh, what's that cool to get? <laughs> it's okay if you get it everywhere because you're going to sort that out. Oh, is it? Once you've got them like that, I then grab the concealer again. Dabbing it under. Oh, which, if you're anything like me, you get it absolutely everywhere. Grab the boot blender, making sure that that is patted in. Where is it? On the go, the, the top of my eyelid. And that is generally because. Eyebrows. I then get this, it's like glue. It's generally because. I have, um, it's to do something with my eyes and I've got a lazy eye, so to go to the top of my eyelid, it doesn't look ridiculous on me. I then get grab an eyebrow palette. Which one shall I right, so Just clean your brush with a baby wipe. So I get all the brush shit off. I'm going to grab my new eyebrow palette and it's Fiery B and it comes like this. Yeah, and just and make sure. Different colours inside there. I think. Oh. Now, like I said, I don't know if you can see, but I'll come close. I've got it absolutely everywhere, so I'm going to mend this up now. Grab. So I don't look like I've got a bloody black eye. And I'm going to use colours brown and. So normally I use my foundation. Um, just gently apply. I've just used. But I'm using a paper white stick for this. Okay. What do you mean? Go on. 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 The rest of the don't really gentle as long as you don't want to hurt your face. So it's like a fiery red ruby. It looks pink. Red and all that glitter. <laughs> and then just gently yeah. moisturise into the eyes. <laughs> I got a makeup artist, so. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not makeup artists. I'm just doing <laughs> how I do my makeup when I go out. Yeah, and how I do it when I got you in. So now my eyeshadow is done. All we really got left to do now is do my mascara and my lipstick and my hair. So again, I wash my mascara because it actually got loads of bacteria on there and it affects my eyes if I don't clean it. Wherever I just put that big white. Right? There it is. So again, all I use is a baby wipe. I'm just give it a quick gentle, like that. Again, again, I then go with the darker. Then. Um, Pop it in and apply.
So the best way of now to is to look down when you're doing the eyelid and to look up when you're doing your bottom. And then get the other darker one. And if you can see the corner of the colour. It's pretty well it's pretty much yeah. It's like and then because I do kinda of like this colour. And we got this. The but it's a bit edging. kind of faded. So I didn't put the lipstick that I showed you on top of the gloss that I use. So it's nice and then up in the hairline. Losing everything. And then and down the nose. Like that. And all you do is just repeat the steps that you did with your lip gloss. So once mm -hmm. I've done that. And that's it. So all I need to do now is just start my hair out and then we're good to do. So I'll get my straight of that. Get my straight of that. Yeah, get my straight of that. Even though they're already out. Already pumping. Why didn't I prepare myself? Hey, normally curly bit. It's not as fast. Um I just brush it and then apply my heat spray wherever my heat spray is. And then use the double extension from it. So I've got my heat spray from It comes out like this. And it's so and good. wipe first to make sure that uh, the extension got me the just... Oh, you can't see me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good work in a hospital. Wait for hospital weather. Well, where shall I say? Hospital weather. Ah, my brain's got the scrambles. And then, ta da! We are done. Still doing my hair. <laughs> so, would you go out in that bun, Kayla? You are. Would you go out in that bun? No, I won't do my hair. Yeah, might as well since I'm doing mine. So I section mine off because my hair is really, really big. And it is normally like an afro, so it's best to section it. Again, just mm. brush it all the luggy luggies out. Because I use my spray, where I'm about to put the spray. How can you put something down? Curl it all for a minute and then kind of like slowly pull it out. It hurts like hell. <laughs> but it does leave some quite nice curls in there. I don't know whether you can see it. There's a few nice Just feel it. It's all mixed in. So my hair last night. Ah, we have a finished project. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will get photos and put them in the clip once we are We will. So sometimes I just put some nice little curls in. So. Just hold it for a couple of seconds and then bring it down to the floor. Like if you want it a bit more. So 
the rest of my hair, put a few curls in again. Again, this isn't taking me so long this time, guys, because my hair is currently not good. On my lip line, if I don't wear lipstick. Like that. Oh. It's no good. Hairdressers even use them. Superdrug as well, but you can probably get them anywhere to be fair. It's just a right nice. Yeah. <laughs> I uploaded it today. So I was told to do a fringe, to straighten a fringe, make it look like you do with um, the hair. Yeah, let me just put some more curls in here. Is Kay's hair tutorial? <laughs> yeah, my hair tutorial. Again, slowly drag it down. It's actually going to work. It's not going to work very well in my hair. But, so, I was told when I do say, right, you're supposed to flick it at this side to straighten it. And then, all you do is like that, and go to your side where your pattern is and just straight it down. I always go over it though. It gives it that bit of an edgy look. Or a messy look. <laughs> Which one are you going for? <laughs> <laughs> Which way your hair falls, you know? <laughs> there you go, look. It's a bit of an empty messy, and I just go like that with my hair. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of yeah, a bit of cheek in it. Touches. I've done a going out look, and Kate has done a university slash school slash work look. Slash lazy look. <laughs> slash lazy look. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this next video. We are thinking of doing something different I'm not sure yet we haven't even discussed this <laughs> but no we haven't be hopefully in my new house then as well so oh, you never know <laughs> yes. so uh, thank you guys for watching please do like subscribe if you like what you see do leave a comment and thank you very much for watching, guys thank you, thank you.